hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and let us discuss about absconding now and also i let us discuss about the screenshot that i'm currently showing that i got yesterday uh, from linkedin now uh, like a lot of time what usually happens with us is we join a company and we feel like you know we have multiple offers and the company we joined we end up with seeing the bad project that we like maybe like you know someone is looking for a development project at the very beginning they can they, they uh, like you know come to know that it's a support project or they are in, in, in like in a cloud engineer end up with uh, looking at a legacy code so that we don't want right so it is possible that we think for apps like an exit route and people usually like junior people uh, maybe with less experience they usually end up with absconding absconding means you are not coming from uh, like tomorrow just leave the company without informing anyone because it's so early maybe one day or two days and you have multiple offer you know like you know you have possibly postponed those and you can rejoin now there is a big problem with this approach one problem is nothing may happen for two one or two days you can hide that experience that is 10 20 percent possibility but there is something otherwise so for some company they usually plan uh, PF, they usually like in the very first day, they, they usually sign all your PF documents. If they wish, they can open the PF account and that will be created a huge issues uh, going forward because they will not possibly place the exit date and that will create a dual employment issue. So first one is PF. Next problem is if you have some belongings with you, maybe whatever small thing, kidding or laptop or even what bags they can possibly launch the employer can possibly launch an fir saying that employee is missing uh, so that can end up with a huge uh, legal issue and also like you won't get any full and final settlement so even if it is like you know a situation where you feel that you have to leave early like within one or two days you have decided to move on then talk with the hr force them that you don't want to work so hr will initially try to negotiate but you talk about your aspiration and then you leave with a formal resignation process. That is the best way uh, to leave organization without having any problem. But here, just look at this employee. This guy is work for just for 20 days and he worked for uh, Tech Mahindra BPS India Flipkart business. So basically say in like BPS stands for BPO and they are providing support to the Flipkart customers. Now, Tech M is not so employee friendly if you talk about uh same level five take mind the little bit you know in 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 the in the like end of the list i mean the people will not prefer to join take them in the first hand uh, so that is my perception people will choose tcs we print or in uh in in uh, like you know uh, usmnc they prefer accenture cognizant ibm but usually different to join take now this is uh like you know this one uh the salary that for 20 days the salary is 7800 rupees because this is a bpo basically salary should be much lesser than uh, it but if you see uh, the salary advance the recovery from salary advance is 7600 now this salary advance comes when you take the loan i'm not sure why they have included whether maybe the employee has taken any loan in between and the notice period recovery for 24 days is 2300 rupees so they have a possibly a, a rule that if employee is joining, they have to serve 45 days notice period. So in that case, possibly the employee serve 20 days. I mean, work for 20 days. So they consider as a notice period. And since it is uh, less than 45, so remaining 24 days, they have a recovery and that they am amounted around 2,300 rupees. So total deduction is uh, 10,000. And after working for 20 days, even that employee will not get anything and they have to pay around 2400 rupees after 20 days of working at the net result you are not pay, you are not getting anything and also you have to pay 2400 rupees in order to get the uh, uh relieving letter or experience letter now uh, this may happen with you if you don't go through the uh, terms and condition written in the offer letter so always go by that the good point is uh, in that uh, LinkedIn thread I have seen that employee raise a concern to the tech M team and they have possibly wave of the uh, recovery amount and now the things are settled but this is uh, like you know, technically this is not wrong this may happen with anyone if you are leaving early just make sure you go by the rule and the regulation that has mentioned in your offer letter 
and also do not abscond it may create a huge problem if you are absconding from a big company specifically cmm level 2 3 or 5 uh, so that's all